all the schools that are in the red zone are closed. Most, if not all the schools in the safe zone, the green zone, are shelters for evacuees. And if we're in this for the long haul, it's going to take some time. So I, I do not see or foresee in the near future face-to-face um, -face teaching um, being um, happening because we are a school of we have about 631 students, right? Um, about a third of our population are from the red zone. They are displaced and we are utilizing 13 rooms of 24 um, to accommodate evacuees. So I, I, I don't see at, in the near future face-to-face um, -face schooling. What sort of impact will that have on education in the country? Well, it will have a very, very serious impact because we have so many folks displaced. We have teachers who are volunteering their time to work at the shelter. So even the e-teaching or the, the, the online platform that we are that we use during the COVID pandemic, well, we're still in the pandemic, but that first wave, the second wave, um, it will be a bit of a challenge because, as Mr. Bocha alluded to, we have a very excellent team of, of our staff volunteering here, but you can't be volunteering and then try to do e-teaching. Um, Wi-Fi connectivity is not the best at some of the centers, especially the government-run centers. There is Wi-Fi, you can't say there isn't. But you have a hundred and something people trying to connect at one time, it is going to be a bit of a challenge as well. So, so yeah. But, uh, uh, for now, I think it should be put on pause. For now, it, it's, it's going to be a challenge um, as we speak right now. We have folks who are displaced, we have teachers who are displaced, we have students who are displaced. They are not in the comfort of their own home um, to say, to, if we're going to do the online, utilize the online platform. And um, obviously we can't do the face-to-face, -face, as was hoped to have happened um, last week. Um, comment, sorry. So it will be a challenge. So yeah, put everything on pause until we could find our bearings properly. And then once we could find the bearings, give ourselves a couple of weeks and see, because it's hard. People still trying to get back to their home to see what they could clean up. And, it's a, it, and then you have to also look at the, 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 the mental aspect. The psychological aspect of the student, those students who have to run with just the clothes on their backs to get to a shelter. How are you going to, as an educator, I did now say that we're going to have e teaching at this moment? So, for, for me, I think put everything on pause for now, at least the next couple of weeks. And then, you know, while that's on pause, the Ministry of Education and all the other stakeholders who are involved, you meet and you try to find some sort of solution.